This is a quick video explaining a possible reason why Forrest Fenn stated that he is almost umbilically attached to the spot in the Forrest Fenn treasure chase. This draws on the Carey Parks, P-A-R-K-S, video on YouTube on that channel, which basically sets out a location in Yellowstone with various landmarks, for example, Icebox Canyon, Trout Lake, Cache Creek, the Eye of the Needle, and Death Gulch. What this video seeks to explain is a possible meaning for those locations and to Forrest's reference to umbilically attached If you don't consider the Kerry Parks solution a viable solution, you may as well switch off now. The main point of this video is that each of the locations around the possible treasure location were all named in 1930. These are decision cards from the USGS Geographic Names Information System, which shows that the name such as Cache Creek was approved on May 7, 1930. Going through the other ones, Death Gulch was also approved on May 7, 1930. The Needle, which is a key location, was also approved on May 7, 1930. Note that there is notation about whether the Needle is singular or plural. Also Norris Mountain, again approved May 7, 1930. Then we have Amphitheatre Creek, which is near the same location, May 7, 1930. Icebox Canyon, which is a bit different, which is June 15, 1937, which is one of the locations which has changed its name since 1930, which is the same year that Forrest Fenn was born. Then we have Gardner River around the same location, May 7, 1930. Soda Butte Creek, May 7, 1930. Slow Creek, May 7, 1930. And the Thunderer Mountain Range, May 7, 1930. The significance of all of these dates is that they were approved as names for geographic locations in the same year in which Forrest Fenn was born. Perhaps that is the umbilically attached connection. These are just my thoughts. You are free to make your own determination on these issues. If you are going out to visit any of these sites, Please take care of your safety.